During the 1960s, the Soviet Union possessed supersonic bombers capable of traversing Soviet states and bombing the entire United Kingdom via the North Sea. With the potential risk of war, it was imperative for Britain to acquire an interceptor aircraft that could effectively counter these threats, particularly the formidable Tupolev Tu-22 bombers, which could reach speeds almost twice that of sound and were equipped to carry both nuclear and conventional bombs posing a significant threat to Britain in the event of a war. To address the pressing need for a capable interceptor, the United Kingdom initially evaluated various American aircraft to meet this requirement. However, after careful evaluation, it was determined that none of these alternatives met the necessary criteria. The United Kingdom made the decision to develop its own aircraft in order to reduce costs and make the development process quick. They decided to modify the existing successful Strike Tornado IDS, which served as the foundation for the new interceptor. The United Kingdom had initially intended to collaborate with several European countries on this project, but it proved to be unattractive to the other European partners, leading to its development being pursued solely by the United Kingdom, and on March 4, 1976, the development of the Tornado ADV was officially approved and it was announced that 165 of the 385 Tornadoes were on order for the Royal Air Force. Compared to the Tornado IDS, the Tornado ADV boasted several notable differences. It had an increased sweep angle on the wing gloves for stability at high speeds, a lengthened radome to accommodate the Fox Hunter radar, slightly longer air brakes, and an elongated fuselage by 1.36 meters. The fuselage extension allowed for the carriage of four Skyflash semi-active radar homing missiles, a crucial feature aimed at deterring successful air-launched nuclear attacks on the United Kingdom. It was also equipped with a powerful radar system and beyond visual range missiles to enable it counter potential threats effectively. During flight testing, the Tornado ADV demonstrated significantly superior supersonic acceleration compared to the Tornado IDS even while carrying a full complement of weapons. The test program benefited greatly from the utilization of real-time telemetry, which facilitated the live transmission of in-flight data from the aircraft to ground-based technicians. The Tornado ADV boasted impressive specifications, with a maximum speed of 2,400 km per hour, a combat range of 1,853 km, a ferry range of 4,265 km, with four external tanks, and a service ceiling of 15,240 meters. It was armed with a 27 mm Mauser BK-27 revolver cannon, which carried 180 rounds and featured 10 hardpoints capable of accommodating four AIM-9 Sidewinder or ASRAM missiles mounted on shoulder rail hardpoints, as well as four British Aerospace Skyflash or AIM-120 AMRAM missiles mounted on semi, recessed under fuselage hardpoints. Throughout its service life, the Tornado ADV underwent a series of upgrade programs that bolstered its aerial capabilities. These enhancements not only solidified its role as an interceptor, but also expanded its mission scope. The aircraft's impressive adaptability enabled it to perform the challenging suppression of enemy air defenses mission, further amplifying its impact on national security. With its exceptional performance and advanced features, it garnered immense popularity and became the go-to interceptor for the RAF. However, its influence did not end there. The Italian Air Force recognized the aircraft's value and leased the Tornado ADV during the 2000s as an interim solution while eagerly awaiting the delivery of the multi-role Eurofighter Typhoon. Similarly, the Royal Saudi Air Force embraced the Tornado ADV, adding it to their formidable fleet. As the early 2010s approached, both the Royal Air Force and the Royal Saudi Air Force made the decision to retire their Tornado AD fleets, marking the end of an era. This transition was driven by the emergence of the Eurofighter Typhoon, a next-generation multi-role fighter that showcased superior capabilities and technological advancements. While bidding farewell to the Tornado ADV, its legacy as a dependable and influential aircraft remained etched in the annals of aviation history.